hello Taurus welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes for those of you that are new I am Natalie I'm an empath intuitive card reader and a visionary as well and some other things okay um I'm gonna get smoked out here that Palo Santo really puts up a um a, a real smudge here anyway so we're here to do your reading for the month of uh the general reading for the month of February 2018 for Taurus. This is for the month of February. Please keep in mind this may not resonate with you and it may resonate with you. All right, let's get right into your shuffle. I forgot to put my microphone on. You can't get used to wearing it. I'm having a bit of a time. And every time I put it on, when the reading's over, and I shut the camera off, I get up and walk away, and I forget to take it off. <laughs> so I get yanked back. I don't get very far. There we go. All right. As this deck stands are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for the spread for the general monthly reading for the month of February 2018 for the sign of Taurus. Any Taurus that is watching this reading are the top five cards. It's a nice swing. A little more lively than what you were earlier. Good, you're waking up. Thank you, you may stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. So here we go. Let's see what we got. The very first card is going to be your overall energy for the month of February, of course. Nice. Strength. Stability for the whole month. That's beautiful. You're really lucky. February can be a real sucky month. Wow, your finances and wealth. Look at that. The chariot. <clears throat> your hearth and your home. Love. We're looking at the Three of Swords and Heartache. Your challenges for the February, King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, loyalty. Your message from Spirit, a final word on this reading, is the Angel of the Ocean and healing. Okay, we started out really good, and then we kind of like leveled off into something maybe not so great, but... We'll deal with it here, see what we can find the best out of everything. We always go for the best, but we remain realistic as well. Okay. So for you, Taurus, you got the strength card and stability, the overall energy. I mean, it's the word stability. Um, I'm hearing the strength to endure and go through anything um, that comes at you. That can be unsettling in any way, shape, or form. You're going to have the strength to get through it. Um, overall, Taurus, you're a very stable person anyway, so this fits really well. Um, you're being advised, though, by Tarot. So, says Tarot, to stand your ground in the face of any conflict of any way, shape, or form, people-wise or not, 
situations, stand very strong, don't back away, don't back down, don't turn away. Um, don't be overwhelmed by anything that's going, you find is opposing you. You get that feeling of opposition against you. Um, remember, anything that's opposing you is coming from a negative space. Okay? And it's coming at you, not you going at it. Negativity and the darkness in the world is below you. It's beneath you, Taurus. All right? You are way up here. You were so much more elevated. Um, and, and you will realize that as well. And you will stand your ground. You will not be allow yourself to be intimidated by anybody or bullied around by anybody. You may have to deal with little touches of that through the month of February. Um, the card is advising you, so says Tarot, to have compassion um, w w without without putting your own personal boundaries at stake. You can be compassionate to other people without giving anything of yourself away. You you don't, don't do that in this case, especially during the month of February. Don't be taken advantage of at all. This card overall shows strength of character, your integrity and what, what, what you're made of. If you know, if you don't know what you're made of, you're going to, you're going to get to know yourself a little bit better through the month of February. It's going to be a lot of um, introspection going on trying to know yourself, surprising yourself, which in turn goes, say what? I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I would do that. Um, and, and you're taking a second look at yourself in some areas of what makes you who you are. And you're saying, there's something that's going to happen and it's going to surprise you. And it's about yourself. Um, it'll be a lesson learned for sure. Um, this card can also mean for some of you, the literal return of strength and vitality. If you have been down in any way, shape or form, physically, mentally, emotionally, if you've been down, you're coming back now. You're making your way back. You're climbing back up the mountain. Some of you are hitting the even plateau that you've been reaching for. You're reaching that, that point, the plateau. And in this case, a plateau is a good place for you to be because it's showing, and I'm hearing a lot of stability, rock solid, a good foundation, holds a lot of promise wherever that takes you. The advice for this for you, so says Tarot, is to stand firm. Take the higher moral ground if you have to. Your character is being tested. A little mystique there, eh? But it is. Your character is being tested somehow, by some way, by somebody. You are going to handle the challenges, though. So don't um, 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 don't don't compromise yourself or your integrity, and don't panic about it either. Don't panic about anything. Your keywords are courage, patience, endurance, risk, balance, opposition. But the best word at the end, vitality. You're going to be able to stand your ground and hold your own. Pretty solid, pretty solid person through the month of February. No matter what comes at you, you're going to be all right. Your finances and wealth, I mean, you can't get anything better than that. The chariot, are you kidding me? Like this is a beautiful card. It also represents cancer as well. Um, but uh, this, this is a card of movement. But be forewarned right off the get-go. What this, what I'm hearing right here right now for you is you're going to get some exciting news. I see the, you've been behind the gates, all of a sudden, boof, the gates are open and whoosh, there you go. Grabbing an opportunity and you're very, very excited about it. So the main warning off this card right off the get go is this is a card of high energy, intense energy, not a sensitivity. You have to watch your ego around other people. Don't bowl people over to get to your target or get to your goal. Be very considerate of the people in your life so that when you hit your goal and you come back to share the good news with everybody, that everybody's not angry with you or upset with you. or Be very careful how you treat people at this time. 
This is a time for serious progress, so says Tarot. Travel is favored as well, our moves. And these moves, for some of you, could be connected to work or your job. All aspects of your life are going to move forward at this time. Balance is needed, um, so be very, very careful the way you treat people, as I said earlier. This card reveals good timing. Being aware of your ego. And you need to do that if you want to keep your show on the road, because I'm hearing you may not get there completely 100% on your own when you're moving forward. There will be some aid, some direction from other people, some help along the way, so be careful. Some of you may be in the market for a brand new car, some kind of an automobile, a truck, or something along those lines um, this month as well. Congratulations. The advice is it's time to get active now. Move forward with any plans that you do have. Now it's time to implement those plans. Watch your ego when it's needed and enjoy this time of power and have fun with this time of motivation. Keywords are journeys and determination, willpower, progress, a little bit of friction if you're not careful, guidance and protection. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, this is also represented in a metaphoric way of money moving forward. And don't make money at any, at, at any cost at all. Always keep what is right in the proper place. If, if you have to step on other people to get there, all karma's a real bitch. It'll come back to you down the road if you do anything like that. Taurus, you're not underhanded. Most Taurans, Taurians are not that way. Yeah, there are exceptions to the rule. The ones I know would never really do anything like they wouldn't step on other people that way. So, but you know, we all get tempted, right? Easy street, quick money, fast money, fast way of getting to where you want to be. Um, cutting right to the chase. Just be careful, but this is a movement. This is a movement of this energy of movement, um, which does affect your wealth as well. That's what all this is about, really. Okay. And it's uh, seeing the money flow forward, not stagnate, not drop backwards, but move forward so that there's a growth going on, a boost. Okay. Your next card. And what the heck's going on here with the Three of Swords? Heartache. The Heartbreak Card of Tarot. Read it and weep. Um, somebody here is going to go through a very a transformation in their life. This tarot describes it as a transient change that is going to come up for somebody. You're in time. In time. You're going to be able to process whatever this is. And you will heal from this. Now, this could be related to personal um, relationships, romantic relationships, such as breakups and separation. Um, it is what it is. Affairs could come to the forefront. Feelings, of dis excuse me, great disappointment. But the positive side, when this card shows up, there's not going to be any more time wasted in your life. That's going to be the biggest regret. Like, I feel like I've wasted this time. And to find out that this is going on, there's something going on behind the scenes you've been in the dark about. But this card is here to say it's all coming to the surface. You're going to see what's what. You're going to see the truth. There'll be some shock. But there'll be realization as well. And thankfully, it didn't go on any longer than it did. Heck, it went on long enough. And you didn't know about it. And you were wasting your time. And life is precious. It's too precious for things like that. None of this is your fault. There's the thing. Um, you're going to know where you stand. This card can also signify... Um, excuse me. Anxi anxiety and fear that is related to stress. You, this could almost make you physically ill for a little bit. You may be feeling physically ill. You may feel like I can't stand this. I'm going to die from that, but you won't. 
You just have to go through the motions and you have to experience the emotions. It's like a rite of passage to get to the other side. You've got to go through it. Hard reality of life, but you will heal. You will find closure. You will be happy again. You'll be thankful in the bigger picture that this thing happened. Um, you will be grateful for it. You can't see that now, but you're saying, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Where I am right now is fantastic. That's the way life is. You got to go through stuff to get to the good stuff. It's just common sense. It's just part of life. The advice of this card, see the truth. Allow yourself to feel the pain. I agree with that. This has happened for a reason. Then you'll find that reason out down the road. You will. Take hope. Take heart. Keywords are heartbreak, sorrow, betrayal, loss, affairs, breakup, and tears. So there is some separation and breakups going on here with this card. Now your challenges for February are the Knight of Pentacles. It is a Knight of Pentacles and represents loyalty. This is like the fourth time today I've drawn this card. This is crazy. Even came up in private readings. So there's a main message and a, a, a sense of an energy that's going on here for the month of February um, for you guys. When this guy here shows up, he's slow, he's steady, he's methodical, he thinks things through, um, he plans his moves with care. He may not be the most, he's an A-type personality right off. He's not really well liked, we'll say. He wouldn't win any congeniality awards of any kind. But the thing is, what this guy does, um, he's an expert in his field. He's at the top of his class, and he's highly respected. You'll learn after the first meeting to not try to crack any jokes or talk about the weather with him or make light small talk with him of any kind. You will stick to the matter at hand because that's what this guy is like. And he's very good at what he does. So you can trust him. And um, so this person comes into your life. You know what? Maybe this is you two Taurus. This can be, I mean, any card that comes up like this, you may recognize traits about yourself. Okay. Um, this guy's very loyal and he's very trustworthy. The important things that matter in life, this guy has. That's the main thing. Um, and he's not out to win your loyalty as far as liking him. He doesn't care who likes him, who doesn't like him. He doesn't feel that's what he's here for. Um, but any offer somebody makes you that has these traits, if this is not you, you can take the offer very seriously. You base, you base it on the source and whoever that source is, they're trustworthy. They're loyal. They won't steer you wrong at all. Um, this person appears to show really good future potential as well for you in the world of business. And investments in any future projects as well. This could be for just one or two of you. You're taking on a partner or you're working with someone. Um, maybe 0.01%. This is somebody that you've met. And even though they're not witty, they're not charming and all those things. Where you see such strong future potential, you like what you see. And maybe you're pondering the possibility of a personal relationship. Um, right now as well, this is the time to make some serious decisions about your long-term future are being brought to the forefront as well. Um, this guy could be an accountant. He really could. He could just be somebody that you know that's strictly business with. Um, the, the advice of this card, that, that taking the long way around things, not deliberately, but doing things the right way, which is usually the right way is the longest way, correct? It just usually is. In this case, it'll pay off for you to take the long way, the right way. It is going to pay off in the end, and you'll be thankful that you took the wrong, the long way, not the wrong way, but the long way. You'll be very grateful. You'll be saying, again, with this 
Am I ever glad I did this? It's really paid off. It'll leave you feeling quite fulfilled and really good about yourself, as a matter of fact. Um, keywords are order and planning, trust, work, property, investment. Okay. Um, and you're, you're, <laughs> I just heard the biggest challenge for you in February is to recognize good when you see it. Learn to develop your eye and your sixth sense for that, your intuition, to know good when you see it. Don't be sugar-coated by the surface, the, the surface of everybody that, you know, that that public face that people put on. Don't be misguided by that. Okay. Your last card in this reading is the angel of the ocean. She's all about healing. This is your message from spirit. You see the infinity symbol there. And what I'm picking up there is uh, spirit is telling you anything that takes place during the month of February, there could be three to four different situations that have a real long reach into the future. Changes and happenings that are still going to, it's like cause and effect into the future that goes quite a ways. We're talking could last up to a year, could last forever. Um, changes that they're going into place and they're taking place. Okay. Um, so yes, um, the, the, the angel of the ocean, she's the healer and the negotiator. And sometimes a manager, again, we could be looking at you if you recognize these traits in yourself. Um, sometimes this is simply just a parent that has to be able to manage her family and her, her children and she's really good at that, smoothing things over, keeping the peace, the glue that holds the family together. Um, and you're being given a heads up that you may need the patience of an angel in order to deal with some things that are coming your way. She also reminds you to look and um, to 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 be seen and be and to remember lessons that are learned that are transferable life lessons are transferable they're not stuck to one situation they're not exclusive to one one situation you learn these lessons you carry these life lessons through your life with you and that's just the way life is you'll say I, you know i've been through this before that's the, your life lesson i've been there before i'm not about to forget um, so don't be overwhelmed by others' emotions or their complaints at this time as well. Don't let yourself be influenced by other people's emotions. Also at this time, you're going to be finding yourself, there's, there's some kind of, um, healing, um, coming to terms with some kind of past trauma. You're getting past the tra traumatic part, finally. It's going to be just a memory to you. Something happened to somebody there. This card is bringing balance to your mind, to your body, and to your soul. Your finances um, during February as well, you may need to sit down and take um, a good look at them. Um, straighten things out. Don't let things get out of hand. But know that your angel guides, your spirit guides are there to help you. This may be a demanding month in some ways. They're there to help guide you through it. Um, work to um, settle down any opposites at this time as well as the advice of this card. Be patient. Um... Allow your passionate nature to come through. Don't sit back and don't numb yourself. Don't dull yourself back. Don't hold back. Be passionate. Feel your passion. Express your passion. Whether somebody likes it or not is neither here nor there. At the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, you get to choose how you are in this world. You get to say what kind of person that you are. And if you're a passionate person, why would you sit on that? Why would you hide it? Some people aren't comfortable with passion. I'm a very, I'm a very passionate person. I'm very, um, um, I'm excitable. I like to think I'm colorful. And you know, one time some people, I've run up people over 
um, over the years that were like, whoa, you know, those are the A type people. These are the people who have no color in their life. I don't let that hold me back anymore. I'm very expressive, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not excitable. I'm very, very expressive when I'm feeling the passion behind something, if something has stirred me or moved me. Don't hold back on that. That's beautiful. You just spray in a rainbow all over the place. Um, and, it, and it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Other people have a problem with it. It's their flipping problem. You just be you. Let the color come forward in your life. Don't be afraid to share that. Um, your keywords are balance. There could be some reconciliation going on. Courage. Finances have come to the forefront. But the angels are very present right here. So that was your Celtic, or not your Celtic cross. I'm doing private readings tonight as well. So I'm back and forth. I want to pull one angel card for you guys to see if there's any messages here. And that then we'll tie it up. We'll tie that up for the, for the month, for February. What a crazy month you guys have really crazy you've got some good cards though let's take a quick boo here again i don't like the heartbreak card but it's still part of your transition it's all part of it you're going through a transition not everybody remember that now okay could we have one angel message for it? the sign of Taurus the bull. This general monthly reading for the month of February this deck stands as a top card the message that is meant to be read in this general monthly reading for february 2018 for the sign of taurus the bull that's a nice swing right off the get-go it's just waking up there we go thank you you may stop thank you thank you thank you thank you beautiful all right what did we pull the five of air Somebody can make an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives. I'm going to get the book out and read the rest to you. All right, because there's more to this. Just a minute, TT. Huh, there it is. Boy, this message came up real quick. Okay, that's my dog I'm talking to. She needs to go out. But I don't let her out alone. Nope. All right. The five of air. This situation hasn't worked out the way that you'd hoped, but you can try again, whoever this is meant for. Your power lies not in how all the chips fall, but in how you handle yourself moving forward. You may now feel that the cost of this venture is just too high. Carefully evaluate the events that have transpired in order to gain valuable lessons for your future. Someone in this situation isn't coming from a place of integrity. The desire to win is so strong that this individual will ignore others' needs. Review everyone's motives, even your own, and do what you can to foster a win-win situation. Try to make it for the good of everybody else. Additional meanings of this card. Unwise choices. A desire for revenge. Thinking only of oneself and gloating and that my dear taurus was your reading for the month of february 2018 i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it gave you some direction um i hope all good came to you for it um you're going to get through whatever the transient changes are you got to go through that in order to get to the good stuff so if you would like that reading and you'd like to have a private reading with me that's private and personal and all about you i do offer that service information is found down below this video window in the show more section all you just grab my email you see there and ship it off to me i'll get you taken care of also please feel free to join us under groups on facebook 
Bay of Fundy Fortunes, and the group is closed and private. So what happens in the group stays in the group, and it's full of beautiful, beautiful, like-minded people, just like yourself. So please, a warm welcome to you. For anybody else, if you're looking for me, you can always find me right here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes. And if I'm not here, I'm walking on the beach down below here, along the water's edge, that hold the highest tides in the whole world, the beautiful and the bountiful Bay of Fundy. And any time you find me, chances are you're going to catch me waiting on the next high tide. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this time. Peace in, as always, so you can share the light and the love out in the day-to-day -day of your, your everyday lives. Make it special. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon, and have a great February, Taurus. Best wishes.